going to have to recognize as part of learning about the organic compounds is the different functional groups. And what a functional group is, is just an arrangement of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, phosphorus, nitrogen, one of those really important atoms um, that occurs very, very frequently. And it occurs so frequently that rather than the scientists just saying, oh, that's oxygen, double bonded to a nitrogen, single bonded to a hydrogen, they come up with a name for it. And it just simplifies it, and it's sort of a standard that everybody knows. So there are lots and lots of functional groups. If this was an organic compound or organic chemistry class, I would make you learn lots and lots of them. But I just want you to know four functional groups. And I know they're a little bit small. I'll show you some bigger pictures in a minute. So all the way at the top, we have the hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl is just oxygen bonded to hydrogen. Very, very simple. We see hydroxyl in sugars, amino acids, um, sometimes in fats as well. The carboxyl group is central carbon, double bonded to an oxygen. On the other bond, it is on the other side, sorry, it's single bonded to a hydroxyl or an OH. So the hydroxyl is found within that carboxyl functional group. We'll see carboxyls in the amino acids, also in the fats, so in proteins and lipids. The amino group is found in the amino acid, that's why it's called amino acid building block of protein. Oops, sorry, press the button by mistake. Um, is nitrogen bonded to hydrogens two hydrogens or three hydrogens, they're both considered an amino group. Um, it's also found in some of the nucleic acids, but always the proteins. The last one is the phosphate group. Phosphorus with four oxygen. Sometimes you just put a P for short. We are going to see this always in the nucleic acids, so DNA, RNA, all of those. So like I said, you're going to need to be able to pick these out, maybe circle them or identify them. So let's go through some examples. Okay, so this is a lipid. I can tell because we have two carbon tails. We have a head at the top. So in the head, we have a phosphate group, a phosphorus with um, four oxygens. That is the main functional group found in this lipid, and it's called a phospholipid. Okay? Here we have a amino acid. Here's the amino group, nitrogen with the hydrogen. Here's a carboxyl group, carbon double bonded to an oxygen, single bonded to an oxygen. Here's another carboxyl group, okay, double bond, single bond. Those are the main functional groups found within this amino acid. So the amino acid always has the amino group and the carboxyl group. Okay, this is part of a nucleic acid. Okay, we can see very clearly some of the functional groups. We have two phosphates, and I said that the phosphate group is always found within the amino acid. Um, we also have a couple of hydroxyls, the OHs that are coming off of the sugars, and the hydroxyl group is very common in um, sugars. And here we have an amino group, N double bond, N bonded to two hydrogens. So there's an amino group in this one as well. This one is packed with the different functional groups. Here we have some amino acids joining together. We have several different functional groups again. We have several amino groups, N with the hydrogen. Okay, so anytime you see the N, look for an amino group. We also have several carboxyl groups carbon double bonded to oxygen, single bonded to an OH. And then additionally, we have a couple of the hydroxyls circled in purple. Let's go back to that one for a minute. Okay, so now we can see the hydroxyls, this the OH. Okay, here is, I think this is the last one. These are two carbohydrates joined together. And the only one that you're really ever gonna look for in the carbohydrates is the um, hydroxyl, and you can see that it is jammed packed with the OHs. They're just everywhere. That's the only functional group that you're really going to see in the carbohydrates, though. The, um, the amino groups and the phosphates and the carboxyls are going to be in the lipids and the proteins and the nucleic acids. So I hope that helps. Um, you'll have to do this as part of your homework. <laughs>